How's it going guys? Carl Huff here and today we're going to be going over clustered column charts. So let's go ahead and get started. We're just going to come over here to build and we're going to look for the custom column chart. So let's go ahead and select that and we're just going to bring it over here so we can start working on it. So in our cluster column chart and our X axis, let's just go ahead and add in our region. So we'll see that a region will pop up down here. And then in our Y axis, let's go ahead and add in our cells. So now we can start on our cluster, cluster <laughs> column chart. All right. So we can see we have four bars here. And if we go straight into it, we'll forget this part. So let's just go ahead and change some of cells into just cells. And then we're going to format it. So we're going to click on this paintbrush. And as you can see here, we have our size and style. So we don't have anything that we want to change here, but we do want to make sure that our title is in a good spot. So let's just move it to the middle. And that is good. We also want to, let's just add in a divider here. And we'll give it to the divider. And in our title, let's actually also give it a background color. So now we have a background color for the title. And then we can just go ahead and dive right into our X axis. And we see here we have our X axis is region. We want to increase that. We can do that as well as change the font color. If we want to get rid of the title, we can get rid of the title and we can move from the x axis to the y axis here again we can set a minimum and a maximum so if we want to set a minimum range and this is looking at our y axis so we see we have a range from zero to a little over fifteen thousand if we want to set a range we can do that by just simply saying give me four thousand for my minimum it'll start us out at four thousand and then if we want to stop at twelve thousand all we have to do is just type in 12,000 and it'll stop us at 12,000. So that's how you set the minimum and the maximum range there. We can also turn our values on or turn our values off, depending on if we want to keep them and see them. We can also turn off our title. All right. We can, if we go ahead and click and expand this value section, we can see that we can change our font, font size as well as our font color. We can also get rid of the display units and just show us a total value. If we go down to grid lines, we see here we have a few grid lines. If we wanted to turn those off, we can turn those off. If we wanted to make changes and modify them, this is where we can do that here. And if you want to take your time to do that, feel free to pause the video to do so. We also can turn on and turn off a zoom slider. The zoom slider here is going to show up on our Y axis and we can see that once we grab and pull on this zoom slider, it'll start sliding our data in a min and max kind of way. So that is how that works. If we go down here to columns, we'll see that we can change the colors to all the categories to a different color if we want to do that. Or we can change them by the region if we want every region to have a their its own specific color. We can do that there. All right. And if we wanted to give the regions of uh, the these bars a border, we can just turn it on here, and we can pick a border color for the bars. And we can also increase the width, and you'll see that you have a border on this bar. Now if you wanted to do it for everything, you just click on all, turn on all, and change the color, as well as start changing the width. So now you will see, you'll start to see how that looks when you change all. All right. And if we come down here to data labels, let's just go ahead and set the border off. And then I'll go back here to south and turn that border off as well. And we're going to go down here to data labels. So if we turn our data labels on, we see that we get our data labels there. And if we go down here to values, we'll see that we can change the color, the font, and give our data labels some texture. Give our data labels some texture. 
all right we can see here we also have detail if you want to add more detail here like I said in previous tutorials you can add details so if, let's just say if we wanted to add the cost here we can add the cost so we'll see how much we made in sales as well as how much it actually cost us and we can also see how much we profited as well all right so made a lot of money didn't cost us a whole lot so that's pretty good and if you turn that off you can just turn that off by doing that you can also set the background it'll just give you this background to your values and you can also set in reference lines so if you want to add a reference line let's just say we want to add a median line we can add a reference line there if we want to add a average line we can add an average line there and of course the min and max line is going to go either to the top or to the bottom so if you want to add in a percentile line you can add that and that's that's basically it and we're going to get rid of that and last but not least i skip right over this but as you can see this really has no definition to it on the edges so if we click into this and go into style let's get, let's minimize that if we go into style we can add in our border we can drop a shadow and now our bar our custom column chart has some life hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial we'll see you guys in the next one